sometimes when you're icing, you manage to pick up a color scheme that not many people have actually used, which means that there are not many wallpapers around for that. So an example of this would be the Night Fox theme. So if I show you what kind of theme Night Fox actually looks like, this is what you see, right? This is the Night Fox theme. If I show you NeoVim with it, this is what you see. Let's open a app so that you can take a look at how code looks. So that would be some like playground, Ruby, let's pick calculator. Okay, this is what it looks like. Now, if I show you VS Codium, see what that looks like. Okay, this is what code looks like inside of the Night Fox theme. Great. But then, as far as I've found wallpapers for this particular theme, this has to be the only one, the only one that actually matches this. Now, there is a way to get around that, which is to make your own wallpapers, which is exactly what I'll show you. Kind of wallpapers that you can make that are actually pretty sweet. If I show you that, this is what I was able to make using the custom tool that I'll show you in just a second. So, pretty sweet. Here, it seems a little bit low resolution, but we can fix that by using an SVG file. And yeah, this is the kind of wallpaper that you're going to learn how to make. So, without actually wasting any more time, let's go ahead and switch back to the original theme so I can show you how this is to be done. Oh, and by the way, if you want to learn how to make a theme switcher like this, actually learn it and not just copy and paste somebody else's dot files, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description, and I show you exactly how to do that. Okay, now let's go to this website called highk.app, okay? Here is where you actually make all the wallpapers. So this is the website that you see. As soon as you open it, generate unique SVG design assets. So just click start designing. And this is what I originally used, okay? Layered waves. So that's somewhere here. Layered waves. So what you're supposed to do here is basically pick a background color for your theme. Let's go back to Night Fox so I can show you what this is like, okay? So I pick Night Fox and then let's take a look at the main colors that are part of this color scheme. So the colors I have stored properly inside of config, wave or colors, custom nightfox.css. And this file, by the way, is part of this theme switcher, which I show you how to configure. So if you want to know how to do this, of course, you can go ahead, click the first link. Anyway, here, what are we supposed to look for? The background color, you can just pick the darkest color, which is 192330. So 192330, okay? Then for the wave colors, we can pick two different colors here. If you want to go with opposites, we can pick something like red and green or red and blue. That would be C94F6D. So I can just copy that. C94F6D. That's red. And here, we can also go for something like purple. BAA1E2. So just copy this. Paste. This is what you see. We can also flip the color direction. So it goes from dark to light. We can do it this way, or here we can choose a different color like blue, copy and paste. And this is what you see. So you can come up with different color combinations to basically fit your taste. There are a couple of different options that you see here. Now balance basically refers to how high up the waves are on the canvas. If you increase balance all the way, the waves just shoot up to the roof. We keep balance around half or a little bit less than half. That's what gives you this sort of aesthetic. So let's go here. Yeah, that's what gives you this aesthetic. So what else can we do? Wave count, pretty simple. That just increases the number of waves. If you have only one wave, only one wave. You can just keep increasing it until you find a good ratio of waves to different colors. And for complexity, this just adjusts the complexity of each wave. If you reduce it to the absolute minimum, you get something that looks like this. You can also increase it just a slight bit like so, to have a little bit of complexity and actually have some texture to the wallpaper instead of it just being plain and boring. Then when it comes to contrast, this is where you control the individuality of each wave. So the more contrast you have between each wave, okay, the more different one wave is compared to the other. By reduce contrast, everything is just, this is just stripes, right? You can increase the balance to get stripes like these. Not quite as attractive. So we can increase contrast a little bit, like so, to make each wave more different than the other. And also increase overlap between the waves, or you can do this, where the waves overlap as less as possible. So you can play around with a bunch of different settings here. You can have the direction as well. And when you're happy with it, you just click on this button. Make sure you choose your resolution. You can pick something like 1920 by 1080. Okay, we'll just go with 1080. 
or you can choose horizontal and then you can click export as SVG. Now it's better if you actually download this as an SVG, that way, due to the way that vector graphics work, okay, you can basically zoom into an SVG image as much as you want and its quality is not going to degrade in any way whatsoever. But PNG files are not quite the same. See, this is a PNG exported at 1920 by 1080. 1920 by 1080, right? I set this and then I exported it as PNG, but as you can see here, the quality is not as good as it should be. However, you can skip that and just download as an SVG, which would overcome the quality issue entirely. You also have a bunch of different little options that you can choose for your wallpaper. So you can select a blob here if you only wanted a single blob, perhaps something like this. If I show you Kanagawa, okay, inside of here we have, okay, not here, but actually it was in Nord. If I show you the Nord theme, yeah, inside of different wallpapers here we have, oh, come on, where was it? It was somewhere here. Okay, now if I show you a wallpaper like this, okay, this is the wallpaper. So if you wanted something like this, but then in terms of a blob, you can do that as well. You can reduce complexity of the blob, otherwise you can get a really complex, okay, this. <laughs> okay, you've probably seen this, this troll emoji. You know what, let me just show you. Troll emoji. This looks almost eerily similar to that troll emoji face. Come on, where was that troll? Come on, face. What was it called? I don't remember. Yeah, this. Yes. Take a look at this. Just compare these two. There you go. Hey, do you see this? <laughs> okay, this is hilarious, but you know what? We'll just go with it. So for the background, let's... Okay, we're using Tokyo Night, right? Let's make a Tokyo Night wallpaper. Tokyo Night. We'll get to know the colors. 1A, 1B, 2, 6. 1A, 1B, 2, 6. And for the fill, we can choose a color like, hmm, let's go with blue. 7A, A, 2F7. 2F7, okay, or blue. You know what, the blue is actually a bit too much. So let's reduce this to something like a BG3. So 414, copy this color, paste that here. Still too light, copy, paste. There you go, much better. Okay, now what else can we do here? That's pretty much it. All you have to do export as SVG. Okay, so troll.svg is done. Now, if we just select the wallpaper from here, okay, here, it only shows us JPG or PNG images. So let's see if we can just change the wallpaper through SEO. SWWW, IMG, that would be instead of config, color schemes, Tokyo Night, wallpapers, troll.svg. There you go. We can set the wallpaper that way. And as you can see here, that is absolutely none of that low quality stuff at all. And here we have a beautiful pebble style troll face <laughs> as our wallpaper. And that is how you can make custom wallpapers that fit any color scheme. So you can use whatever different settings that you want in terms of how the wallpaper is supposed to actually look. And you can create your own wallpaper. Just make sure to get the colors from the website. Like let's say I wanted to make a Grovebox theme wallpaper. Let's change Grovebox here, switch here, and then actually go back to Grovebox. Okay, here we are. Now, if I wanted to have Grovebox colors, I just go to github.com, more heads, Grovebox. Now here, I would just scroll down, take a look at the colors here, pick whatever colors that I wanted to. Let's say I wanted to make this 28, 28, 28, 28. Now here, I would pick, let's see, if I wanted a monochrome style Grovebox palette, okay, I would pick EBDBB2 for the foreground color. EBB2, this is what you get. Again, make sure you select your custom resolution here. If your display is 1920 by 1200, you can choose that. Click on SVG and then export wherever you have to. That's it. If you want to know how to make a custom theme switcher like this one, whilst following a specific framework instead of just jumping from one YouTube video to the other, just hoping that you learn enough to make something like this. Okay, if you just want to follow a specific framework with one vision and one philosophy as to how to make something like this, right? One set of design principles, one everything, that way you get to your destination, which is a setup like this, much, much faster, right? 
If you want to learn how to do that yourself, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description. I show you exactly how to do this inside of, let me actually just show you. Yeah, so inside this theme switches module over here, which is two hours long, I covered what theme switches actually are, the different kinds, how to set up wallpaper based theme switching and custom theme switching as well. So if you want to learn how to make something like this for yourself, first link in the description and that's it. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay rising.